As expected, Bayo Nanaga reacts to P2B's five billionaire lawsuit over protest sponsor remarks. As expected, Bayo Nanaga, the special advisor on communication and strategy to the president, has reacted to P2B legal threat. The 2023 Labour Party presidential candidate has slammed the five billionaire lawsuit on the presidential aid. The former Anambra governor also issued a 72-hour ultimatum to Nanoga to retract his alleged defamatory statement against him. Onanoga had a larger support of the BWE behind the nationwide protest against economic hardship in the country. Reacting, Onanoga said he is not afraid of any legal action as he is waiting for the letter. I am still waiting for the letter from P2B's lawyer threatening a five billion naira suit and demanding an apology to P2B over the planned revolution. Let me just tell Obi and his lawyer, I am not afraid of any legal action we shall meet in court. Sincerely, I wish it that we use just one person and we deal with one person. Not just for them, but for even us. We take defamatory, defamation of character. Hmm? We take it very complex in this part of the world. You see somebody now. That person. You know the person from Adam. Or you don't even know what the person is going through. Or just because the person is your colleague. Or because of one thing or the other. You start defaming that person's character. Some people do it online. I could just open teeth. They look on that. Hey, these people don't know what they are doing. In this part of the world. We are too lawless. If you carry this qualabala behavior, that is why some of us abroad did too hard for them. People who actually leave this place to go abroad, you will see them complain a lot. Most especially if you're not even doing the right thing here, it is going to be difficult because there, you cannot even copy somebody idiots. Oh, be there. Ah, no. You know, you get asked to go, you even follow person talk. Before you know it, you don't enter more trouble. Talk less of say you can't be black. Uh uh. That you look at that you doing. You will be very careful of your words. But see, in this part of the world, indeed, even the government is teaching us how to, you know, be lawless. They are coming out now accusing this man. This is an accusation, false accusation. This man has not given them any reason. Even, permit me to say, if this man now, P2B, if he wanted... If he's somebody who was as lawless as these people, do you know when we would have started having a protest? The first protest ever would have been the 26th of February after that result was called. You know, the 25th of February was election, 2023. The 26th of February in the evening, in the night, they announced that result. It is that 26th or 27th, all Nigerians would have been on the street. Do you understand? Everybody would have been on the streets. But this man comes and telling people that's not the way. They say go to court. Let's follow the legal way. If he wanted it, it would have happened. All he needed to do, because at that time, a lot of people were really like, uh -uh. these people, they don't already they buy us now. Some, some people died in that election, during that election period. Whether you like it or not, some people are still in prison. I'm telling you, their only offense is that they, they went out to, to what's it called? To vote. Some people, they got scars for the rest of their life. On their faces, on their bodies. Some people were so harassed. Some people were threatened. Some people were frightened. Some people were giving trauma. Any time they remember that election, they are scared to their bones. Do you understand? If this man wanted it to happen that period, all this one they are making this noise, it will happen. Because a lot of people that time... Things and things were not like this. People had the energy. You know, now we say everybody with their side. If this blue person, person go for no, because the person know they chuck better thing. That time things were a little better. A lot of people were ready to hit the road. Then they say, "I far, bros. I I know how many gatherings I hear. Both people that called me. If you are passing everywhere, the anger, the anger level was high. They just say, "Why this man no go just talk? So yeah, make everybody come outside." Make them come outside. So look at what he's saying. He's saying he's waiting for. Sincerely, I wish. And of course, it is not going to be in Nigerian court. Too. No. 
because those people they for Nigeria here. Kelebeti gbe won te don kelebeti gbe won. Hey, they no even know what they do those ones. They don't have a mind of their own. The executive is they are not like remotes. If the executive wants them to talk, they will press them. They will talk. If the legislature, you understand, those people, they are supposed to act like, a, what's it called? Act like, a, what's it called? A checkmate, a regulator to themselves. But now, it is only one body that is regulating all three arms of government. It is a thing of shame. There is no separation of powers. There is no, nothing. There is no rule of law. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is working in this country. And it is because of that we have something like this. Because if now, bro, you talk this thing, you will provide the evidence. <laughs> By the time they drag you, you will provide the evidence. They will make sure. You will say, in fact, so if you did, then they find out, say, this thing we talk, no be. You go pay, see that money, you don't pay and finish. There is no two way about it. You will pay it. And if care is not taken, what am I even saying? It will dent your image. Then go use you do scapegoat. Next time, if somebody else wants to come outside and talk, say, eh, this person, he see this, he did this or that. You will get your proof. You get your evidence. Not even one evidence. You will get many, you gather many evidence. So that's, if they ask you, you say, this is it. It's not funny. It is not funny. By another guy now, this is John Wayne, they beat now because in the for that place. Hi, we said these people they, they walk up for streets. This thing I said, this is what people so people were saying in the comment section of one particular news. I think yes, I think it's I can't remember the news it was called the news article I read. This particular thing I said, some say ah I didn't even say these people eh they just they walk alone for what? Ah this the way that they talk, they know for the talk am. But because they know that they have, they know they don't shit for church. They cannot come outside to say these things. By your nigga, they come saying they wait. Not, be, not, not only for this, not only for Africa, like go happen. For that country, who, who are you? They don't slam you. In, in fact, by the time where they drag you, drag the matter go court. Now the person go win because you don't have anything. This man, for a very long time, P2B have not been hearing much of him. He has not been coming outside to speak. He himself, nine people, now they even speak for him. He has been doing his thing, whatever he's not saying they do. You know, even if not like drug and drug and drug, Rendo will come talk, 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 talk. He wouldn't answer or reply. To me, I just wish they're going to use one or two persons, drag them, go international courts, deal with them for dear. You understand? So that the rest, everybody go do it in. Go mind the way when they talk. Even we will be say we'll be electorate. We will be careful of saying things that are you know defamatory. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.